welcome and thanks for joining us again. We are with Deacon Larry Silver today, talking about the Steward of Wisdom class that we have at the House of the Lord. Welcome, Deacon Silver. How are you doing today? I am doing excellent. How about yourself? I'm doing good. So we want to kind of delve into the class that you teach, learn a little bit about it, and how other, how people can join it in the future. Um, should this be a class that fits their personality and what they're seeking to do with their spiritual goals? So could you start off and tell me what the name of the ministry is and when do you meet? <clears throat> the name of the class is Stewards of Wisdoms. Stewards of Wisdom. And we meet on Sunday mornings at 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. And is this class live or virtual? It is, it is virtual. Now, once, once, the, uh, once Sunday school classes open up, we hopefully we'll be able to do both, virtual and live. Awesome. Can you tell me the topics that you cover in this class? Well, for instance, for right now, we are studying the Ten Commandments. And when I say studying the Ten Commandments, that's what we're really doing. We're taking a deep dive into each one of the commandments. Um, And in the future, we'll be studying all of the miracles of the Bible, all of the parables of the Bible. And in the past, we've studied um, the Holy Spirit and the Book of Revelation uh, since I've been, uh, been with the class. So you, um, we've talked before, and you mentioned that in this class, you really do a thorough, deep dive into scripture. How yes. long do you all typically stay on a topic? Well, usually we stay on a topic anywhere from eight months to a year. And it's That's normally awesome. what I, the, the length of time that we spend on it. And it is in the class, you know, everyone is saying, thank gracious, they learn so much. Um, there's so much about the Bible that we don't know. Um, and, and then once you get into that and then you start seeing, um, doing that deep dive like that, you start seeing how the Bible all bridges together, how each book just flows right to the next and stuff like that, you know, and that's, what's exciting when you see the Bible come alive and when you see what God has done from Genesis, um, all the way through revelation and his, his thought process and what he is trying to do and what he's trying to show us via his love and his prophets, you know, is as, as outstanding. We have various different types of Sunday school, um, mm-hmm. and some of them are for our adults and some of them for our children. Who would you say um, this class is for? This is for our adults. I would say it's for our adults, um, particularly since, of the, you know, the, the deep dive that we get into. Um, and and I, one of the things I want to make sure that people don't uh, understand, don't let stewards of wisdom um, scare you, because um, there was always the perception that stewards of wisdom were, were people that were 60 and over. Uh, no, that's not true. Yes, we do have a lot of folks in there that are that, that age. Um, but no, this is for everybody that wants to or wants to have a deep dive into the word of God and the word of God only. Excellent. So you've been the leader of this class uh, for a little while now. How long yes. have you been been leading the class? Uh, I've been leading the class. And like I said before, um, I wasn't old enough before to be in the class. And I think it started at the age of 55. So I've been in the class now for probably about eight years now um, in the class itself. And I've been leading the class probably for the last five years. What would you say the mission of this Sunday school ministry is? The, the, the mission of this right of this particular uh, Sunday school class is really is to get a in-depth knowledge of the Word of God. That's what it's all about. Um, we are not we are not trying to to look at the fads of the day or anything of that nature. We want to look at what does God say. What does what does His what does his Ten Commandments really tell us what we're supposed to be doing? What was really going on in Revelation? What was really the Holy Spirit's job, right? And what is all of that coming through the scriptures is telling us how we should be perceiving, how we should be taking note of what God wants us to understand and know. Biblical truth is, as Bishop was um, preaching about uh, 
during last year is something mm-hmm. that people are are losing sight of. So it's mm-hmm. really nice to hear that you all are spending time really getting into what the word of God has to say and exactly. also applying it to life today and yeah. life that's going on in the future. Exactly. But not only that, but you also, and we know it applies to, we know it applies to back in biblical times, right? But what's really nice when you can see that is relevant now because what was going on there we're seeing right now and stuff you know and that's what's amazing when, when you can start making that contrast and it just shows you the depth of god's word is something else and that's exactly. what really that's what really gets your mind going and then really start thinking about how awesome god is and stuff you know because he trans transcends time right Exactly. You know, and his word, I'm like, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. So tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with this ministry. Okay. So um, number one, I, I want to step back. So I, I've been with the House of the Lord since 1988. Um, so it's been quite a while. Um, now, once I, I, I went through Lagos, and um, and it took me it took me nine years to go through Lagos because uh, I was taking one class on Monday nights at a time and stuff, you know, and I said, I'm just going to do it. But once I once I went through that, um, I said, OK, now I have a better understanding of God's word. What now? How can I use that? And I went to um, Minister Watkins and she said, well, let's see what you can uh, see if, you, if teaching is one of the things you'd like to do. So I went into the, um, the teacher's training. And uh, one of the things that uh, I, you have to go through a, a, a rotational cycle going to different classes. And the, the first class I went to was Stewards of Wisdom. And um, at that particular point, I went back to her. I said, there's no need for me to go through the rotation. <laughs> That's awesome. so, so it, seems, it seems like you you found your place i know that uh we yeah. we at the house of the lord endeavor to mm-hmm. really make sure that um our educators and teachers have yeah. an opportunity to learn how to facilitate as well as teach right and right. also be able to see the different ministry opportunities that they have right, so that way right. they can find out where they best fit so yeah. um it's n- nice to hear that through that process you found that this was the best place for you to be the, able to the minister. best place for me, the minister and everything uh you know it's so, uh you know facilitating and and understanding and, and also working with the with the class itself. And one of the things I tell the class is that, you know, I learn more than you and t- than you think, right? I probably learn more than with the information that I'm delivering to you in the class because of 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 the depth I have to go into because number one, stewards of wisdom, right? So you would right. think that, so I don't want to go in there one day and somebody asks me a question, I'm standing there with my finger in my mouth, right? I don't know, you know, something right. like that, you know, <laughs> but so, 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 so that right there. And, and when I knew the class and, and, and how, how intelligent the people were and the questions that they were asking, I knew that that was the place for me to be because I knew it would cause me to grow. Uh, and to get deeper into God's word. And that's where I wanted to be. That was one of the main reasons why I selected that class. Thank you so much, Deacon Larry Silver from the Stewards of Wisdom Sunday School class. This class meets Sunday mornings between 8.30 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. via Zoom. Contact Deacon Larry Silver at lesilver at outlook.com to join the class. You can also contact him via telephone at 216-536-4507. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.